What's up guys, it's Nelly Natural and today I'm going to show you how to make three hair growth gels. The first gel of course is going to be flaxseed gel and here's the simple recipe that you need in order to make this gel. So first you want to start out by measuring out your flax seeds and getting about one fourth cup of them. And flax seeds are rich in vitamin E, they help fight free radicals on the scalp they also nourish your hair strands, add shine, and help with the detangling process. This is one of the reasons I love flax seeds. So after you add the flax seeds to a pot, add about two cups of water to it and bring it to a boil. And once a foam begins forming on the top, that means your flaxseed gel is done. And you'll be able to see how jelly-like the gel is turning as I'm stirring it. Here's the consistency of what it should be looking like as it's being made. And at that point, once the white foam starts forming, you know your gel is done. So you can begin to start the straining process. I'm straining it into a glass bowl so that way the plastic does not melt. And you want to be really careful at this step so as not to burn yourself. And as you can see, the gel is looking a little liquidy right now, but as you let it set and cool down, it becomes way more jelly-like. You may want to give it about 5 to 10 minutes so that way it could completely strain through the strainer. And you could also give the strainer a shake to help the gel move faster through the strainer. Sometimes flaxseed gel could be a bit flaky, so to prevent that, we're going to be adding in some sweet almond oil. Sweet almond oil also helps with hair growth it softens the strands and it minimizes frizz. So I'm adding about a tablespoon of that into my flaxseed gel. Make sure to stir that oil all the way in so that way you have a nice homogeneous mixture. And then transfer it into a jar or applicator bottle that you're gonna use. So remember, flaxseed gel can expire very quickly so I would definitely recommend using it the same day that you make it to prevent any bacteria from getting onto your hair and scalp. The next easy hair growth gel that we will be making is marshmallow root gel. Marshmallow root is high in proteins which make the hair strands look thicker it also forms a nice mucilage which helps to detangle the hair add shine and volume if you haven't tried marshmallow root this is definitely one of the herbs that i recommend you try so that way you could get a nice detangled wash and go and defined curls we're going to start off by measuring about 1 fourth cup of marshmallow root and here's what that's looking like as I'm pouring it. Then we're going to get out a pot and bring it to about a medium heat and we're going to add the marshmallow root into that pot. Now add about 2 cups of water into that marshmallow root and then bring it to a nice boil. Occasionally stir it just to prevent any of the gel forming from sticking to the pot and for the marshmallow root not to stick to the pot as well. And how you know the marshmallow root is done is if it changes color into a nice yellow color. Now, once it's done, we're going to go ahead and strain it. And you'll see how the marshmallow root gel is looking. At first, it is very liquidy, but over time, as the gel cools down and sets, it becomes a more gelatinous texture, which is easier to apply to the hair. But if you'd like to use it right away, let it cool down and transfer it into a spray bottle. And here, I'm just adding some castor oil for added hair growth benefits, and then I'm stirring that in. Pour 
pour the marshmallow root gel into a glass container to let it cool down and after it cools down pour it into a spray bottle so that way you could easily spray it onto your curls and if your gel has thickened up enough you could just leave it in the glass container and apply it straight to your hair here's about how liquidy mine is The last gel that I will be showing you guys how to make is Slippery Elm Gel. Here's the simple recipe that you need. Just 1 fourth cup of Slippery Elm Powder and 2 cups of water. And this is one of my favorite, favorite gels to make. Slippery Elm is just an amazing detangler. It forms into a nice thick gel and it has tons of slip, meaning that it glides easily through your curl strands. So this powder looks dry now, but as it's boiled, you'll see how it begins to turn out. Even once it hits the water, it just starts gelling up and it's just an amazing natural hair ingredient. Bring the slippery elm gel to a boil. From the moment it starts boiling, it should start forming into this nice thick gelatinous texture. Let it boil for about 2-3 to three minutes and then strain the slippery elm gel from the clumps. Make sure to let the slippery elm gel cool down in a glass jar. just gonna go ahead and label each gel so that way I know which one I'm applying to my hair and here's what all three finished gels are looking like I can't wait for you guys to see exactly how these gels apply to my curl strands and the moisture and definition that they bring it's simple natural and great for your curls I've separated my hair into three sections. Each section will have a different gel applied so that way you could see the definition that they bring. So the first section is going to be on my right side and I'm spraying the marshmallow root gel that I've made. And immediately what I've noticed as I'm applying this is the immediate moisture and shine that I'm getting on my curls. It's also helping me to detangle through my dry hair. Let me know in the comments down below, is the marshmallow root gel one that you would try? The next gel that I'm trying is the flaxseed gel and this gel is so jelly like and it glides right onto my curls. Immediately as I apply it, I notice the shine and also how it's quickly detangling and adding that slip to my hair. And just look at some of the definition that I'm already getting. In my last section, I will be applying the Slippery Elm Gel. Now this is one of my favorites. It quickly detangles and it has a nice amount of slip to it. So I'm going to be applying that to my dry curls just to show you how it could transform them. So I'm starting off little by little and I'm gliding it down throughout the section. And as you can see, there's some shine going on, detangling, and curl definition. Now here is the rest of the application up close. All three gels are now applied to my hair and here's what it's looking like wet. So I'm going to go ahead and let my hair dry and I'm going to show you the finished results. Great guys, so my hair is about 70 to 80% dry, still a little wet, 
but here's a good indicator of how my washing goes turning out. Let me know which gel result you like the best, Slippery Elm, Flaxseed, or the Marshmallow Root. Comment down below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.